Welcome back to Controller Wars Season 1. It is round 4, we're at the Red Bull Ring and it is raining. It's going to be 6 laps of trying to stay on the track. So far this season we've got uh, PlayStation Legends, that's a 6-axis controller. And we have the uh, Power A Xbox One controller tied at the top. Game Sir, Nintendo and PDP could all win it. Xbox 360 perhaps not. And the others are just uh, fighting for the middle ground. Expect lots of cars to swap ends during this race because it's very wet. The cars are on uh, wet tyres, but there's a lot of power going through those rear wheels. We're going to spend the first sector with the Power A car since that's the car which did so well during round three. And watching this through the first sector will give us some sort of indication as to uh, what the grip levels are like out there. And they do look pretty horrendous. And that is how horrendous they are. Uh, the power rate swapping ends as the power goes down. Not the best of first sectors for power rate. And that could be their race over already. Depending on how the others do. So the Logitech G29 is the pace setter for the first sector. Uh, games uh, are up there in second, Xbox 360 in third. PlayStation Legends, which is a six axis controller, down in eighth, but expect that to come back. That's obviously had some sort of drama in the first sector. In 12th, PlayStation Mobile, expect that to stay there for the entire race, uh, as it has been the entire season. This is the penultimate race, so the points here are really, really important. Back to uh, get the times for the next sector. The car absolutely tiptoeing out there. So yeah, as expected, PlayStation Legends up into second, just four tenths behind the GameSir controller. Logitech G29 uh, clearly not quite fast enough out there as it's dropping down the order already. But check out fifth place, the Hori Racing Wheel Apex. Uh, 2.6 seconds off the pace, but still much higher than we've seen it for the rest of the season. Despite doing so well, even the PlayStation Legends car is struggling to find any kind of grip out there. And as we come into the start the second lap, it's GameSir leading. Uh, they said a 144.5. But this car is right behind it. The Hori Wide Mini Controller is third, but it's 3.6 seconds adrift after just a single lap. And perhaps in these wet conditions, adrift is very much the uh, the word we should be using. Check out uh, the Nintendo car there. Uh, just dropped down to sixth, but even that's a very respectable position, considering that the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller has uh, digital bumpers rather than analog. PDP back up into 5th, that's the PDP Xbox 360 controller, so that's doing quite well, even though that's almost 10 seconds down, so there's a pretty massive field spread, that is safe to say. Now that the, uh, the cars have found their groove, it looks like the, the PlayStation Legends car is absolutely planted. And I've been thinking about this about why the six axis is doing so well during this competition and I think I've got a theory and that theory is I think the uh, Gran Turismo Sport engine its physics engine is based on the Gran Turismo 6 physics engine which was of course awesome on a, a six axis it was a PlayStation 3 game and that could be why we're seeing the six axis controller being so very dominant Although having said that, the game sir is starting to crawl back. It's obviously had some sort of drama to drop it into second, uh, three but more seconds back. But it's coming back. That said, the uh, the six axis was fastest over the the full lap, 143.7, extending its lead against everything except for the game sir controller, which has clawed back to 2.7 seconds behind. And GameSir, that's another car that looks absolutely planted. The GameSir controller itself, uh, the um, T4W wide controller, has a, a very long range 
on its on its bumpers what would be L2 and R2 for a PlayStation and that means you can do some really accurate throttle control on that particular joypad. We're watching the Hori RWA right now, the Racing Wheel Apex down in 7th. That's doing really well, it's, it's having a very strong showing and is definitely showing to be the, the stronger of the two wheels in the wet. going to be a, a review of the, the Hori RWA coming um, and I know that Hori have just released a new wheel which is for the Xbox, I don't know if it's for the, the Series X or for one, I'll have to look into that. As we come to end the third lap, the 6-axis controller has extended its lead again over the game sir and it looks like it's running away with it. Only a real calamity now can end the charge of that controller. We haven't seen much of the PlayStation Works car this season, which has been strange because it's uh, it's the DualShock 4. It's very much the controller that Gran Turismo Sport should be best on. But it's got a pretty decent showing at the moment in third. Uh, a gap of around 13 seconds back to fourth. So that looks pretty stable there, but once again the, the Hori RWA making up some ground uh, up to fourth now. Absolutely fantastic showing from this this wheel, which is really mixing up with the controllers. And it's so far ahead of the Logitech G29, which is really impressive. Especially when it's a wheel that only costs one third uh, of the cost of the G29. Although it's, uh, it's going too deep there. Destroy that cone just out of annoyance, I think. The field still seems to be spreading out. Um, what else have we got going on? Okay, towards the back, uh, ninth and tenth, you will frequently see in the Razor and the Power A swapping places. That's the Power A uh, Xbox One controller and the Razor Chroma Black Widow keyboard. I'd have thought the Razor would not do this well in the wet. Again, there's no analog controls for that keyboard, but it's it's very much holding its own. Ahead of them, uh, Nintendo, still in the running for a few points. And as we end the fourth lap, it's Logitech that is the fastest car on the track. We haven't even been, been looking at it. Um, so the Logitech U29 hasn't been putting together any kind of scintillating single sectors uh, but its consistency is what's put together that's 142.35 uh, two seconds faster than the lead car and that lead car seems to be sort of drama uh, actually because that has dropped back a place and also the game server controller having a similar issue so the, the PlayStation works, the DualShock 4 has taken the lead in this race uh, with not long to go. So as we come on to the final lap, the, the places could be all a little bit shaken up. Certainly Logitech are going to be taking a haul of points if they've got the, uh, the fastest lap. Which could keep them ahead of Hori, even though Hori are up there in fourth. Okay, so the uh, six axis has gone straight back into the lead. It was really that easy to get the lead back. And um, I, I said earlier it was the last lap, it's going to be an ultimate lap. DualShock 4 is in second place. Probably the best showing for the DualShock 4 we've seen for the entire competition. The Hori RWA down in fifth, um, but that's okay because that's still, again, the strongest that we've seen that, I think, during this competition. Incredible, the Logitech is so fast and yet so low. The car we haven't seen much of is this Xbox 360 controller. It's the uh, standard Microsoft Xbox 360 controller. But that's going pretty fast out there and it's running in the top half. So that's quite respectable. So 
Actually, that's coming down to uh, start what is the final lap. It's very tight at the top. Um, it's PlayStation Legends, six axis controller, and PlayStation Works DualShock 4, just half a second separating them. Nobody else even close. All of the other controllers much further down. Uh, there's actually a, an eight second gap from first to third. So the, the two, two top controllers there could have offs or spins or whatever and still be ahead of the GameSir controller. Very impressive. Looks like the Power Ray controller's uh, back on form, but it's too little too late, unfortunately. Up into seventh, but I don't think that's, uh, that's going to get that many points. Six axis control is still leading, but the uh, the DualShock 4 is is closing up. This could be a photo finish. As we come into the final corner. Can the DualShock 4 make up that three tenths of a second in these last few turns? We're about to find out. The race is over. Here we go. The classified results for this race are as follows. The 6-axis won with the DualShock 4 second and the game Sir uh, T4W followed by the Hori Mini Wide controller and the Microsoft Xbox 360 controller and then the Nintendo Switch Pro controller. Fastest lap did go to Logitech uh, with the 6-axis uh, second, Microsoft Xbox 360 third. Uh, the 360 and the Power Ray and the Nintendo controllers all very very tight there. The most consistent controller was the DualShock 4 followed by the game Sir and then the 6-axis, the Horror Junior and the Razer team doing well with the keyboard. Yeah. So, points after four rounds. The PlayStation Legends team, the 6-axis, uh, take the most points, 37. With Game Star and Power Rate both taking 31. Nintendo taking 24. Uh, the fastest lap points overall. It looks like the 6-axis have got the most fastest lap points. Uh, Logitech, though, have hold themselves up from, uh, from oblivion at the bottom. Most consistent controller of this competition, again, is the 6-axis. Uh, quite incredible. It's like uh, that controller was born for this. The overall standings, the 6-axis leads on 102 points as they're going to the final round. Uh, the Power Ray Xbox One controller on 87, games to the T4W on 80, and Nintendo Pro, uh, Switch Pro Controller on 73 points. Big mover is the Hori Junior, which goes up one place. Uh, Microsoft Xbox 360 controller drops one place. Last race is Monza. That's going to be coming up very soon. Until then, uh, check out the link for the Patreon at the bottom in the description. Uh, like if you like. Subscribe if you want. I don't mind if you don't. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.